Earlier on, it's yeah. going to be more basic stuff. Okay. I have created game llama1 password. I will whisper to you. Uh, Wait, ladder or non ladder? Yeah, just do ladder Europe. Gem does absolutely nothing, guys. Also, hey, Andrix. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Probably some more of the EU viewers up today. Most likely. <laughs> First time seeing me live, Violet. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Hey, there we go. Cool. You sound serifs? Oh, I'm so jealous, DM. I still need it. Okay, so uh, we can go ahead and go through stuff. Um, how much do you want to focus on, like, maps, things like that, or just general knowledge, or everything? Like, maps, maps I'm usually... And I usually have an idea of what's up. <laughs> okay. At least in Act 1 and 2. Okay. 3, 4, and 5, I am just... No. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so we can kind of go focus on some other things. Uh, so, yeah, we can go ahead and just get started. Let me... Eat. These splits are all wrong. Uh... Oh, you're actually streaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say hello to everyone. I guess. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. <laughs> that sounds right, Shreeds. Okay, ready, set, go, 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 go. So, we'll just kind of run around. We'll, we'll make it like a little two-man. Go ahead and drop your buckler. First things first. That's because blocking will take longer than just getting hit. Especially out, out here, I'll go ahead and showcase that for some people, because a lot of people wonder this. Out here, that's especially true. Because um, as you saw, like a zombie was hitting me right there, and it was doing nothing except me taking damage. But, alright, so right here, we'll stop right here at the first point. So we already know where the Den of Evil is and where the exit is, because of this map right here. Because we have this little break-off. Whenever you have a break-off that's running like to a side like this um, and you've got this like wall here and everything like that you know the exit is going to be down left like we just know that hey Sadashi. so that means that this up here is going to go up and then loop back a little bit and that's going to take us to the den of evil so instead of running up all the way to the den of evil to drop our tp because we're going to need to get a tp for this well instead just because we have to do den of evil we'll drop a tp right here and then we can just continue on. So that's an easy way to save some time right there, just by knowing, okay, we don't have to, uh, you know, look for the Den of Evil. We've already found it because there's a split. There are no splits in the Blood Moor except for the split um, for the Den of Evil in there. Ooh, Poison Shrine. So Poison Shrines are wonderful because they're going to get us some gas. And also you can get some kills if you want from it, but the gas is the best part. So yeah, here you'll notice, if anything ever hits me, um, which I kind of got hit by that fire shine, stuff like that, there's there's that pause to, to try and block, or if I do block. And uh, we don't want pauses. Let's drop it. So that's why we do no buckler. So here we'll just come over and we'll get the shrine and head home. Teo, thank you very much for the resub. <laughs> Amazon Prime is nice. Okay, so let's head home here. Hey, it's the German runner. We'll sell stuff. Here's 300 gold. Okay, so go ahead and get some stamina potions. And that's all you really need on this guy uh, early. If you have enough gold, what I'd like to do is look at maces. 
Um, and see if I can just get like an upgraded mace really quickly or something for some damage. Um, if not, then I come over and I get some javies. I can get a one. Do I get javelins on this guy? Oh, better than what I have. Should I get it? Uh, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, okay. Like, that, that, that's, oh, that, that's up to you. I get it usually when it's like 350 gold. Yeah, oh, whoops. Is there, oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead and run out here to me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you went through and then you stopped, stopped short. Yeah, that's my bow. Frosty, welcome back to Lama's Around for 11 months. Ow. Let's just pretend like you were right here and you came with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, perfect. So now we should know that the den is literally going to be right here. This is also important. When you have this building structure, this is going to be super chest. This exact the building chest. structure with the chest right there. Oh. That's always going. That's going to be a super chest. So your chances of getting good gold, things like that from it, are really good. So is there something specific for attributes or? So yeah. So first, you want to get um, Midora. Oh, should I get it as well? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, cause you're just gonna be, we're gonna be copying. Um, okay. So on this map, I like to run kind of this way here. It's up to you. So I like getting throwing jabs early on. You don't have to, especially if you have a mace. Um, the mace can be pretty good. Right. Or the scepter, I mean. Um, but javelins are helpful, especially when you don't you know can't get one of those or something like that just nice easy throw and you may and you may end up wanting them a little bit later on yeah so we'll go ahead and clear the den out very standard um, this is the pattern I like to run for this den layout right here so there there are set den layouts a lot of people don't know that um, there are set den layouts. I think there's. How many decide? Did we decide there were Teo? Do we say there are eight or like fourteen because of minor differences? Short staff, pick it up because it could have some sweet stuff to make it worth gold. Um, so then I come here. I check up here. Sixteen. Okay. There were there's like eight main ones and then like sixteen if you count some minor changes to oh, each yeah, of those. There are like most that barely have like. A turn slightly different. Yeah. So. Um, so head over here, and yeah. But the basic idea you need to know is there's always kind of three sectors. So if you look at this map, you can see three sectors, right? Yeah. Like three boxes with connectors in between. There's always going to be those like three connectors in between the three boxes. Are you using your mace? Oh yeah, no. Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, okay, you're fine then. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay. That's the one and only okay. thing I don't like about the fallen. So, usually, here you would save quit, but since we're in multiplayer game, whatever, we'll just do that. Um, so, first skill goes into Midora, right? And you'll use that immediately. Second skill is going to go into uh, defensive... Fire or whatever that one is. Resist fire. Oops, I want those jabs. Um, go ahead and grab this. So go ahead and fill up on some post uh, stamina potions and stuff. Leave some space though, um, as that'll be helpful. Yeah. And then we'll head over and I'm gonna get some more javelins and repair my javelins. Wait, do I continue my... Continue your what? Uh, on the might. The aura. Uh, no, 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 no. So now your next ones are going to be def resist fire. Also, oh. I like to put... Yep. I like to put in dexterity to start out. Oh, okay. Oof. Um, and then, yeah. So we'll head to Cold Plains, then we'll move on. Don't grab that because that'll put us out of sync. But hey, experience shrine, always good. So something to note is we have an experience shrine right here. Um, 
And so we'll want to check that for a shine every time that we're doing, you know, when we're doing Countess runs, things like that. We're going to find skill build for all classes for hell runs. I don't know if we have all hell run builds set up. Google's probably going to kind of help. Teo's got his site, which will have a little bit on it for you. So at this point, we're checking for the sides, right? Um, so we went and looked to see if that side center had an exit. It did not. So now we're going to move up this way. And this could potentially be stony. Yeah. So once again, we want to look for something that's not in the corner. So like this is right here in the corner. If this entrance was a little bit further that way, I'm showing on my map, but a little bit further that way, that would be the uh, Blood Raven then. So it's very kind of specific um, what you're looking for in there. Right. So here we got Rakanishu. So I like to kind of stay back, and this is where having javelins is really helpful. We also have this Skeleton Boss. Yeah, you won't work the lightning enchant. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, go ahead and grab your potions. Oh. Um, and then, yeah. So you just kind of want to stay back a little bit on Raka. Um, yeah. Oh, running. <laughs> and this is where, like, like I said, having javelins, very helpful here. Because otherwise, mm -hmm. You know, you're going to go run in and get swarmed by four or five of them, and you're just not going to be able to hit. So. Careful. You know. <laughs> okay. Always pick up targes, um, because they can be pretty good for you. So you don't really want blocking, but there's kind of a you got you can kind of find it. There's there's sort of like time when it's really nice to use that, and then we'll just go right back to the path because the path is always going to lead us to underground passage. Lith Force, welcome back to Llamas of the Round. Okay, so down here we probably want to check left first to see if this will take us out. It will not, so it's going to be down right. It's going to be down right. And Shrine Squad, squad with the ten dollar. Wow, wow, Thanks so much. Uh, other things to always check are things like leather armors. Go ahead and pick that up. Teach me your ways, Mama Senpei. Oh, two socket. Yeah, so that saves you a trip of having to like check Charcy for it. Um, right. Okay, so once again, where it's amazing to have javelins. What is in this case? I just need to hit teleport. Did I teleport? I'm. No, oh, uh, the boss or the mini boss. Possibly, probably, probably a little lag. Oh my gosh, Teo! I was teaching him. It was the wrong way. Um, but yeah, those are set tiles at the entrance. So. Okay. So at this point, how much dex do you like to go to, Teo? I feel like 25 is pretty good. Or 35. 35, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, though, Shine Squad and Lift Force. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Uh, so at this point, we want to run straight across. Because the map is straight across. For those of you who are like, I don't know what straight across is, I have a speedrunning. Um, tutorial series that kind of explains everything they like you should comparison to your direct like when you come into the room or not into the room but into the area what like straight across is like when you yeah so here's straight across so this is actually exactly straight across but this room could be like down lower like over here and that's straight across um, so you always generally want to run the right of the way you come in, like straight and right, because left is where you're going to have the level two. That's an amazing underground, though. Amazing underground. There's a poison shrine. Go ahead and pop that. Get you some uh, potions. Yeah, that map's really nice. Okay. So that'll just be gold. Ooh. 
And then here's the boss group. And once again, I'm kind of showcasing why it's nice to have javelins because this game just wasn't built for melee characters, honestly. Like, <laughs> it was not built for you to be a melee character that well. So if you separate them <laughs> out one by one, it's not bad. But when you have to fight, you know, five, six, whatever, um, it can just get terrible. All right, so let's kind of move on here. Ruby. Got a ruby, nice. Um, so I generally don't focus on killing too many things on my way over there, except like I want to kill every boss group I can. Strangling yeah. gas potions are really nice as well. Extra, yep. Ugh, extra experience. Yep. Um, so you know, I'll kind of like stutter step kill things along the way and look at shrines because as you can see we had three shrines on the way here oh, but um, we just kind of want to run through yeah I'm gonna spend the potions play okay I got some you. There you go. I'm running low on javelins though so now into the Black Marsh. Um, you want to enter the Black Marsh around like five to six generally on your levels. Um, so we should be nearing six right now. So we're in a pretty decent five spot. Oh. And when we kill these guys, that'll get us to six. So. Ugh. I do not like the brutes. <laughs> and nobody's that big of a fan, but they are worth a lot of experience. So it's one of those necessary evil things. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set a TP. Um, and just go repair oh. my javelin oh. really quick. A TP just got swarmed. Yeah, you don't have to come with me. You can uh, hang in there and just survive. Survive. Oh. Um, weapons. Oh wait, it's true. So we'll do that number. Let's see, dash. All right, cool. I'm just running with everything after me. <laughs> All right, so this is also once again where javelins are really helpful because if you want to stop and fight these brutes, man fighting, good luck, right? That's gonna be a lot harder. So now I can just kite them back, kite them around. Uh, something that's like important really to do, to except for barbarians, just ugh. yeah. So something that's important to do is scout the map while kiting. So this is giving us like a good... So we don't get into a corner? <laughs> I mean, not so we don't get into a corner, but like the purposes of, of us being in the Black Marsh anyways is to find right. the shrine, to find the tower, all that stuff. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to back up and fire and make sure that oh, I'm not losing them because I want them to still be chasing me. Yep, he is cursed. Yep, he is cursed. Oops. Be a little bit careful. Hey, here we go. Um, so I want to make sure that he's still chasing me and everybody's coming after us, but the important thing is we're also exploring the map in this time. Ooh. So he should be dead. Okay. Here we go. And now we're level 6. And at 6, you want to get Holy Fire. Oh god, I put one in Smite instead of Resist Fire. Just uh, ignore that, everybody. You saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so resist fire should be at four, um, and then holy fire should be at one. That's going to be your uh, bread and butter starting out here for the next couple levels. So at this point, um, oh, that's really nice. Wait, four resist fire? Yeah, so you want four resist fire, one might, and one holy fire. Zero. <laughs> or I, I don't know. Okay. Or if you really do any room wars. Stuff. Yeah, so yeah, so you want steel. Steel is important on this guy. Um, so Wait, what is steel again? Is it tier L tier, or is that tier L, yeah. Uh, so that's why you're gonna want to have the uh, stamina. Another curse, really? <laughs> damn it. So additionally, um, right here is a great time to have these poison gas potions. Because you can poison, and then you can hit. Um and you can kind of bounce between hitting with a scimitar, or if you want to still use your javelins here, you can. It really just depends how many guys there are. Um, if there's like one guy, I don't mind man fighting him as much. 
But if it's a big group, I'm going to throw some potions. Always make sure that you don't run out of potions. Yeah. Okay. Sure so, so here we have... Uh, here we have There's the that entrance. One. So we just want to double check. I'm just going to double check. Oh, there's the waypoint. Never mind. Waypoint's literally right <laughs> next to it. What a map. My gosh. What a map. And remember, we at this point could also go back and get that experience shrine from before. Go to the map a little bit? Uh, no, we'll just, we'll just run through. Oh, okay. I don't need stamina potion. Alright, I got it. I got one for you. One should be enough. Okay, so once again, we know that we want to run that way. Um, poisoning these guys is also really good because hitting these guys is pretty difficult. Especially when they're cold enchanted. So with, with a cold enchant, I'm probably going to just back up and do that. Yester Barnor with the sub. Welcome to Ooh. Llamas of the Round. Welcome, 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 welcome. Can we get... The llamas in the chat, please. So we found the boss group on this level. There's one boss group per level, with the exception of if you have one of those L-shaped maps that I go over in my YouTube uh, tutorial vids. Um, maybe we'll see one, maybe we won't, but... I like to try and find the boss group if I can. However, I don't make it a necessity. So, like, I'll check down here really quick, not Ooh, down there. Oh. Do you have any health potions? Oops. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's kind of why I wanted to go back to. Oh, okay, here you go. I got some. I got you. So always be like on those boss kills, things like that. Be picking up your potions and whatever. Um, so I'm just really quick checking those doors. I don't see a boss, so I don't see a boss anywhere on this map. I'll go double check that there's not one. I usually wouldn't. Um, so I'm not saying anybody should do this. But it's one of those, like, for this. So there's no bosses on this level. Sometimes it happens. Um, so you have zero, one, or two bosses on a level. Short staff, so always make sure to grab short staffs. This one's not very good. So it's pretty pointless. Um, and then these guys are blocking. So we're going to have to kill a couple dudes to get through here. That's always annoying. Okay, we got another boss group right here. Um, always great for just dropping some poison potions. Oh, they're fast. Yeah. Hmm. So they're extra fast. Extra fast is always fun. And I'm still, at this point, using my oh. javelins. Oh, there's some more strangling potions. Um, I'm still, at this point, using my javelins. Once again, we found the boss. We'll just move forward. Um, I focus mostly on vitality, right? Or uh, so my dex is 35, and now I'm putting rest into vitality. Yeah, okay. So sometimes it varies game to game. I like to get my dex up a little bit to start. Yeah. You don't have to. It's up to you, personal preference. With cold enchants, you can javelin and then run away. Uh, that kind of hit me because of lag, but that's also the nice thing is you don't have to sit there and be affected by the cold enchant. And once again, we're just going to run left. And Oh, we do have an L-shape. So here's where we can have two bosses. We already had our first boss. But now we have this L-shape map right here. So yeah, literally, it's it looks like an L. And there are zero doors right next to it. Right? You have an L-shape with zero doors. If you have this exact shape, you have like a 90% chance, probably higher. 95% chance of finding a boss group here on very rare occasions where there will not be a boss group in that uh, section But generally that's always a guaranteed boss, so it's really nice to have Oh another boss. Yeah, so once again Order. poisons are amazing to have here Because yeah, oh stone skin come on yeah, especially with stone skin and stuff like that. But the nice thing is, a lot of our damage is fire damage, and so we're able to do Four a good amount of damage still. Four and resists fire, and next is what? Holy fire. So you want to go up to three holy fire. Three holy fire. Yeah. 
I'm just trying to actually remember everything. <laughs> so when you get eight, then you can do another one. So here we're just gonna like chill. Once again, the Countess will never leave her room. Whatever room she spawns in, she'll never leave it. So uh, her minions will, but a lot of times you can get them to a point where they won't attack you because she's too far away. So you get them like on a leash, I like to Ooh, call it. I know. Careful of that fire, it's very dangerous. <laughs> oh, I got mobbed by like the small little little ladies. Yeah. So she's always good for poison oh, potions, yeah. but you can still kill her beyond that. And okay, we got a Rao rune. Um, Okay, so once again, normally you would save quit right there, uh, which you might end up doing. Ooh, faster recovery. So go ahead and sell things here if you want. Uh, normally you'd go look for, oh, that was plus three to teeth. Oh my gosh, so freaking good. <laughs> uh, normally you would go to Charcy and you would look for um, plus whatever you call it. Uh, like two open socket scimitar, two open socket scepter, two open socket shields oh, and dang. swords. Um, also repair your javelins, things like that. So you would save quit and then go to that. Um, do, do, do. So I have more of those. Okay, uh, let's just join Llama 2, same password. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead and join. Okay. So let's head out to the Black Marsh. Wait, did I even actually get? Oh my gosh, another amazing game. Uh, so once again, this would also be a great time to refill your poison gas potions. So you just sell them and buy them back. Um, and you'll get a full stack. Which is really nice. Okay, so let's go Black Marsh, and we once again have an amazing marsh, and it's probably the most amazing marsh ever because we also have this boss group. And this tower is right here. Wow. Yep. And you always, always, always want to kill boss groups. Pretty much every boss group in this game, you're gonna want to kill, with the exception of a couple that are just so terrible. <laughs> Did we go? Oh, yeah, and then tower. So we got like the most amazing tower ever. So once again, we have this L shape, and you can see there's a boss here. How many times would you usually go for a tower? So on Paladin, I like to go to level 12, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, somewhere around there. Go ahead and keep pumping vitality. We've already got 25 strength. The only thing I'll do is sometimes I'll go up to 27 strength, 28 strength. Um, if there's a rondage, because those are 20, are they 27 or 28? One of the two. Right. Um, so, so now our holy fire damage is starting to get a little better. Don't forget to grab things worth money and things like strangling gas potions and whatnot. Um, those are always helpful. Nope. Oh, so far. Yep. So you can drop, you know, one of those. But as you can see, you're starting to do decent damage and then we'll head left because we found the boss so I mean there's zero reason to even pretend to explore if we find the boss so like here I'll check oh nope we got a boss in front of us so now we're good oh yeah so now we got cold and chance so on cold and chance this is especially where it's useful to just have uh, poison like because trying to kill all these guys without poison and javelins is terrible. Wait, what? Oh, wow. But literally just clear the inventory. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can keep moving. Uh, and once again, we head left of the way we came in. So we'll check for boss. Yes, we got one of those L shapes again. So this is a beautiful, like this map right here would probably be like a world record map if I could repeat it every time. And some other <laughs> things happen. But like this is an amazing, amazing map down here. So we can just continue forward. Uh, 
And maybe we'll run into another boss group, maybe we won't. Looks like we won't this time. So I like to check really quick, kind of, for boss groups in these areas. You can check pretty narrowly. Um, but if you find one, it can always be helpful. Okay, so you're level 9. Don't put in Holy Fire. Oh, wow. I'm stuck. Do Ugh. not put into Holy Fire, okay? Alright. So just save your skill point. Oh, crap. I forgot we actually changed this build up. Alright, well, I've slightly taught you wrong. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's just a minor skill difference that we recently changed. Um, oh. Where we were using sacrifice for so the damages. Sacrifice. Yeah. So early yeah. on, like Den of Evil, stuff like that, um, after your Might Aura, you get sacrifice. So go ahead and put one in sacrifice now. Okay. okay. Do that, Mr. Lama. How do we actually hotkey the the portal? Uh, you just hover over it and then press the key that you want for it. Oh. Uh, do I keep this amulet? What is it? Maximum damage, attack rating, strength, mana, and light radius. Yeah, sure. Anything with max damage, you should actually probably wear. Like I sold two things with max damage. I should probably keep those, but I'm just being lazy right now. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not bad, though. Charm. I want to do fire damage. Probably just going to sell that, or? Uh, I mean, no, fire damage is also good to have, like, things with plus damage right now are all probably great. Things with faster hit recovery are good. Um, uh, stuff like that. So, I would like it. I would keep it. Okay, cool. What's after this coaching session? Laundry. Laundry is. <laughs> oh, laundry. So much fun. <laughs> yeah. So, so much fun. Okay. Light radius increases the amount of area you can see around you. Like, it'll be like brighter in dark areas. Okay, um... Wait, so we continue, or do we do... Let's go ahead and continue. Uh, so normally you'd continue doing those for a little bit. Uh, well, as you said. Uh, yeah, it's like 11 or 12 on this guy. Um, we can go ahead and continue. We'll get a little more experience. And shouldn't be too bad. So there's a targe. So once again, targes are great stuff. That's 8 all res. That's not bad. So you can kind of gauge when you, you want to use a targe. Um, if the blocking is too annoying for you early on, you can just kind of wait till you get later on. You have your stealth armor, things like that. Wait, I'm wearing a targe. Yeah. So it, so really, it just be, it just comes down to like preference. Wait, when did I get that? <laughs> uh, I gave it to you really early on. Oh, okay. Um, so we're in the Tamo, so obviously we want to head up because it's always facing the same direction. So always just head up and then kill any bosses That's along the way. Um, and I like to kill these like dark stalkers as well, but that's only if they clump up, like a lot of them come together. So they'll chase you pretty far. Um, so you can kind of just gather them and keep moving up and then kill them at the entrance so you aren't stopping to kill them every single time. All right, so here's some more, here's some more. So now we get to this top. And it's like, okay, now we can kill these guys with some strangling gas potions. So once again, where it's very important to have like strangling gas potions, right? Small charm. What would I need to set up my screen like for that? For some peeps to fall on Twitch with D2, Twitch chat on screen. What? <laughs> I have lost you there. So, Might Auras. Once again, another thing that it's great to have. Uh, oh, I'm 
lagging apparently. Yeah, so am I. Great to have plus two, whatever you call it. Or strangling gas potions, because trying to fight these guys can be a little tough. So your next skill point, so you put that one in sacrifice. Your next skill point is going to go into smite. So that's level 10. And then level 11 will be saved. And then level 12 will do charge and deal at the same time. So you only end up with three in holy fire. So this map, of course, tells us we need to go top right. Um, there's only three map tiles for the outer I never cloister. Really got this, like, what actually says where? <laughs> is it the waypoint? Yes. So how that tile is laid out. There are literally three tile layouts um, okay. for the outer cloister. And each one will lead you to a different exit. So this one will always lead you to the top right whenever there's that like cross in the middle and the waypoints at the top right. If there's not the cross in the middle and the waypoints at the top right, then you're going to want to go left. And if the waypoints to the bottom left, then you're going to want to go right. Those are the only three tiles. Also, if you have any questions or anything like that along the way, I mean, of course, just just ask. Just let me know. Yeah. Okay, so we're level 10. So I'm going to go ahead and put my point into Smite now. Once again, they're strangling gas potions. I'll go ahead and give you that set. Go ahead and make sure you have those and are using them. So that'll just be on your offhand. Joshy! Half year hype. Welcome to Lamas of the Round. So, can we get. Welcome to watching us scrub. <laughs> can we get some armies in the chat? So, this room right here is going to have bosses in it. Um, there's just certain rooms that you just know have bosses. This is one of them. Oh. And Sir Derpington, welcome back. Go ahead and throw poison at these guys. Go ahead and throw poison. So this all you can practice kind of like moving around and throwing poisons. There you go. And once you get him down to like two left, then you can go fight him. He has fire enchanted, oh. so 